laps ago, the 99 and the 94, and that was uh, Burton out there, the Jeff Burton, and the 94. But take a look at this from a few moments Oh, back. trouble on the home stretch. We got a car Dave Marcus. coming out. Marcus hard in the wall, torn the whole front of number 71 off. The prodigy car slides across the track into the infield right after the start and finish line. Marcus in the 71, taking a hard hit. Running in 31st position. David appears to be okay. Take a look at the front of that car. Now that's at lap 141. Let's get the window net down. You can see him moving around. They don't, do tell him in the driver's meeting, if you're all right, put the window net down. Dave Marcus has done that. 211 and a half miles are complete. What a sad ending for Dave Marcus, the all-time veteran of this race. Lee Benson rounds out that top 10, headed for turn three. 75, Morgan Chevrolet. Bobby, 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 Bobby Hammond, loose. Oh, Michael Waltrip gets it. Three cars on the inside getting caught. One is Ricky Rudd, the other is Bodine. Somebody got through that. Hillen's car torn up on this restart. They didn't get a lap in after they came back from the flag before we had trouble. Started up in three, ended on the outside of four big time. Another look at what has just happened. Buddy Baker. Jared, 
Jerry Labonte, Ken Schrader, Mark Martin, Sterling Marlin, Bobby Labonte, Irvin, and Michael Waltrip, the top ten. Another look at this one. Well, the 94 there is Todd Bodine. Now, you watch right here. Dollenbach just gets him on the left rear barely and turns him sideways. He starts down the track and now back up into the outside wall. Second angle. Going to hit at Jarrett and the leader, Jeff Gordon. Whoa, oh, we've got another one loose and up in the wall. Looks like Bobby Hamilton going all the way around. Bingo. All of a sudden, we can't get through turn four. The most dangerous time on the racetrack is a restart. I don't care what they say. When you're double file like that, the chance to get the air off the spoiler or somebody touching you is enormous. Randy Pemberton. Well, not only that, buddy, but as you well know, new tires, how touchy it can be, and that is one of the things that they get just a tick sideways, they'll lose it in a hurry without building some heat up in these tires. Mile of here at the speed Still holding on with two laps to go. But you know, as well as he has run, here's Earnhardt, who leads in the points, right behind him. No matter what he does, he can't get away from this guy. Well, he picks up 10 points, as dominant as he has been. Five for winning, five for leading the most laps. Three-time 600 winner Dale Earnhardt stays right there in second, while Dale Jarrett tries for his first 600 win. White flag is down. This is it for Jarrett. Very nicely, right down on the bottom. You see him giving the car a hit there. He's not pinching it down, not taking a chance to maybe get the back out. Around Rusty Wallace, has worked his way to 34th in that crushed and battered car number two. Heartbreaker for him tonight, as it has been for so many. And down out of the fourth corner. North Carolina's own. Dale Jarrett has done it. He has won the 600, the 37th running of it. Dale Earnhardt will come home in second place. Ford has won tonight at Charlotte under the lights. Going over a million dollars on the season is Dale Jarrett and stepping as close as you can get to the Winston Million. The only thing between him and it, 500 miles at Darlington, South Carolina on Labor Day.